this is a bird's trifle kit. Um, what I think is really interesting about this kit is that <laughs> the instructions for making each thing are on each packet. Um, and that was really helpful the first time I ever made one. On the back it just says like, see the packet. So, um, we're going to go ahead and make this. Ah, yes. Bird's trifle. Classic, unassuming, delightful, layered, traditional dessert from the UK. It is, in fact, layers of what we call in the U.S. Um, jello, but uh, in the U.K. is jelly, and then there are cookies. I realize the cookies are supposed to be on the bottom, but they didn't work out that way. Custard, whipped topping, and chocolate jimmies. I made the bird's trifle for my Thanksgiving dinner, and everybody loved it. I wanted to have a traditional UK holiday dinner, and with some help from my good friend at Welsh Twins Memes, I was able to put together an amazing spread that concluded with the classic bird's trifle. I ordered the bird's trifle kit from Amazon on the suggestion of either Robert or James Welsh, I'm not sure which one uh, suggested it to me, but they were like, oh, you can't forget that. <laughs> so I ordered it, I made it. I ordered two kits and I made one for our dinner and this is the second one. And of course, a, a southerner, um, or at least a transplant, I've pondered and pondered the idea of putting what is known in the UK as jelly together with custard. And I thought, I bet I could do a really good Berg's trifle, Southern style. So that's what we're doing today on Foodie Friday. We are going to take the classic English Berg's trifle and we're going to take it down south. If that sounds interesting to you, then stick around and we'll be right back. Okay, so, Burr's Trifle. It is a layered dessert. Cookies, um... Cookies, gelatin, flavor gelatin, which in this case is strawberry, a custard that um, is sweet but not tremendously sweet, and a whipped topping, a very basic whipped topping, and then chocolate sprinkles. It's very good. I was really surprised that something that we don't usually put together like pudding and gelatin would actually go that well together. So the history of the bird's custard was that it was formulated in 1837 by a chemist named Alfred Bird, whose wife loved to eat custard but was intolerant of eggs. So he created this custard that's made with cornstarch. And I'm like, that is exactly up my alley because I am also allergic to eggs. And that is why I enjoy like instant pudding and I'll do instant pudding that's more like um, thicker, I make it a little bit thicker so that I can enjoy it kind of like a custard or layer it like a custard. So how do we do this with birds trifle and I thought well one of the things that we absolutely love in the south is banana pudding okay banana pudding is base is pretty simple it's a very basic custard with 
obviously bananas all chopped all throughout and then it is usually put into some kind of trifle dish or maybe a 9 by 13 pan and then there are Nilla wafers that are put all along the edges. The Nilla wafers are primary. You cannot forget those. There will not be a traditional Southern banana pudding. And I thought, well, what if we do the strawberry jello, but then we use banana pudding? And I thought, well, that might be kind of overpowering. So here's what I've come up with. We're going to take bird's trifle down south right now let's take a look okay so what we have here is we have gelled gelatin and yes those are the vanilla wafers please do not take my southern card for this it was the best way i could figure to incorporate them <laughs> so since a trifle is built in layers i thought the next the, what a great thing would be would be to put strawberries on that next layer right above and so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get some strawberries in there okay so we did slice these because we want them to be we want them to kind of lay flat as flat as possible I am not gonna sit and actually lay them out like coins or whatever I am just gonna sort of move them around here just so that they cover that one that one layer and we'll do this just get them all layered up in there and I feel like we could use a little bit more down here in this end one of the things if you know if you're from the UK and you heard that we do things in excess in America we do um, and it's worse the worst is in the south we we will put something we will put gravy on things that are fried and I'm not complaining I'm not complaining I'm a little worried that police might be sitting outside my house waiting for me to mess up say something bad about southern cooking take my southern card charge me with a southern felony all right okay so we've got our strawberries in the next thing we're gonna do is get that banana pudding all on top of there all right so our next step is our banana pudding which we made today now this is just based this is the base banana pudding remember that in the south if somebody offers you banana pudding you will see the um vanilla wafers pretty prominently you're not going to see just bananas and some pudding we are a little too fancy for that I might I might get it out to the edge where I could take one good picture that's what that's all we ever want on like social media anyways one good picture that's good but there we go this is what would be our custard layer on the birds trifle finally right we need whipped topping uh, for those of you that are wondering I did not make the actual topping for the birds trifle kit um, I find it really difficult to make and so I just use some of this to make it look pretty once again it's just like using filters on Instagram I know it's a bit egregious but I know that the topping is good because the one that I made before um, I made it and it, it really is just a lovely sort of cornstarch whip topping it's perfect and I don't have anything against birds trifle um, the custard is good. The gelatin is good. All of it tastes good. But it's funny. In the South, it's funny. We can't leave anything alone. Even like our Mimo's chicken recipe or whatever. Like, we can't just let it, let it be what it is. We gotta figure out some way to put our own, like, spin on things or Something like that. Now, I am not um, suggesting that you eat this whole thing, just you and your family. I'm actually suggesting that um, you go ahead and take this to the potluck. The one thing that um, I wanted to do a little bit different, it was kind of like, so how am I going to do those um, 
those little chocolate sprinkles. I could have bought chocolate sprinkles, but I didn't. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna actually chop our own chocolate. Let me get a board and a knife and I'll show you how to do that. So if you're gonna try this, you wanna make sure that your chocolate's really cold. I'm using Hershey chocolate. Ooh, Hershey chocolate. And I've had it in the fridge for a little while. So I'm hoping that it is cold enough to actually um, chop. You can use a grater for this if you want to. Um, the thing of it is the friction from the grater does tend to, um, it, it tends to heat up the chocolate. So I, I don't really use, I don't really use a grater when you can just chop it like this. So um, pointing your knife down on your board, that's not going to move. That's going to stay there. And you're just going to feed the chocolate in. And you're going to come in at an angle with your knife. You're just going to angle that down. You push that out. Anytime you start on a corner like that, it's going to give you a nice shred. And it's going to be a little bit easier on your hands. <laughs> if you're like me and you're arthritic, that's really important. You scoop this up on your knife like that and just start pushing off your knife to sprinkle them on the top. If you use the edge of your knife blade as kind of a guide, you'll be able to like get them on there. Now, if you've eaten bird's trifle in um, like traditionally, okay, if that's something that you've done, like, yes, I've eaten my whole life. You have it totally wrong. Please leave a comment. I don't know if you're like, oh no, we used to want this like we always wanted the parts with the sprinkles like that was our thing you know and everybody wanted to get more sprinkles or mom never used the sprinkles you know i don't know um i really thought it was interesting that they used jimmy's because jimmy's just don't taste much like anything except sugar which is fine because the bird trifle is not a super sweet dessert you know the jimmy's to me just look like they're um for decoration anyways so all right now let me tell you something else here's something i really will lose my southern card for throwing this away we don't throw these away we keep them we have matching sets they are containers for storing food or possibly soup bowls and here we have it the classic bird's trifle and the southern kicked up trifle. You can see the layers, the cookies, and all that deliciousness. So let's see how they taste. So here we have the two things together. We have the bird's trifle do you see how that came out? That is amazing. That's amazing that they that plated so nicely. I mean, obviously, because I had to go in with a, a spatula on the other sides, right? But, I mean, if you really were intent, you could clean that up if you wanted to. But look at that. How perfect those layers look. That is gorgeous. And that has to count for something. So, yes. The way that it the way that it sets up because of its very simple nature, I mean it's 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 it was stunning to me, <laughs> and I give the credit to the actual dish for that, not to me because I no I don't do those things. All right, so we're gonna try it. Got a little cookie in there. Pretty much as I remember, surprised that the jelly set up um, and came out as nicely as it did because actually in the mouth, it's very soft. Um, and that might be partly due to the cookies absorbing some of it, but it's quite delicious. It is not overly sweet. It is the perfect, perfect dessert. 
I, I, I love it. I love it now just as much as when I first um, tried it at, at Christmas. Now, here we have the Southern kicked up version of <laughs> Bird's Trifle. And as you can see, it is not a trifle at all. I do have a picture of it that I'll put up here. Um, try to put it right here of how it looked in the pan after I cut that piece out. But I think I didn't really expect it to set up that nicely just because of all the fruit and the chunkiness of it, the cookies, everything. But trust me, all the layers are in there somewhere. So I'm going to try to get those, get those together. Well, here's banana, strawberry, some chocolate and cream. So there you go. We'll try that. Wow, it's good. It's very, very good. If you love strawberries and bananas together, you are gonna love this. If you love chocolate and bananas and chocolate and strawberries together, you're gonna love this. In this case, that that shaved chocolate is imparting some flavor and, um, and it's not a bad thing. It's actually really delicious. It is very sweet. It is really sweet. And in the South, that is great. My own personal taste. I would like something a little less sweet. But that's just me. If you like sweet desserts, this is good. It does have a freshness that comes from, I think, the fresh strawberries and the fresh bananas. If it didn't have those things, it would just be cloyingly sweet. But in this case, you know, it added something to them. So, Okay, and that is Foodie Friday for this week. Bird's Trifle versus Southern Trifle. I hope you had fun hanging out with me. I hope wherever you are, you're having a great morning, a great afternoon, a great evening, or a great night. I hope you're taking care of yourself, and I hope you're taking care of each other. And as always, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hey, hey,